Alliance of American Football, Atlanta, Georgia. The legend set to collide with Memphis as the regular season reaches its midway point. Georgia State Stadium first quarter, Atlanta leading three to nothing. Following a legend's fumble, Zach Mettenberger drops back to pass on first and 10 from the Atlanta 43. He finds Reese Horn at the 25. Horn hops over a defender, down at the 14. At a roughing the passer penalty next play, Dallas Thomas busts open a hole for Zach Stacy. Stacy powers his way to the paint, seven yards, Memphis in front, six to three. The legends answer. Later in the first, third and 10 from the 42. Aaron Murray rifles the ball complete to Malachi Jones at the Express 37. Two catches on the day for Jones. Three plays later, third and 11 from the 38. Murray back in the shotgun looking for Shontavious Jones. He makes the catch at the Memphis 18 yard line. Five receptions in the game for Shontavious Jones. Same drive, second quarter from the two. Tari and Folston into the end zone for a Legends touchdown. Justin Thomas added two on the conversion. Atlanta back in front, 11 to six. Back comes the Express, third and six from their own 47. Mettenberger dumps the ball off to Sherman Beatty and he has room to run. Beatty loses a defender at the 40. With key blocks by Devin Lucian and Reese Horn, Sherman Beatty is forced out of bounds at the three. 56 yards on the catch and run. Next play, Zach Stacy cuts it back and breaks the plane. The conversion failed. Memphis jumps back in front, 12 to 11. Later in the second quarter, from deep in their own end, off the play action. Aaron Murray finds Bug Howard on the release. Howard heads up field, 31 yards on the pass play. Three grabs in the game for Bug Howard. Four plays later, second and 15 from the 44. Murray fires the football to his tight end, Keith Tobridge, on the seam route. 18 yards, down to the Memphis 26. Enter Koo in the game. Young Wei Koo drills the 25-yarder to end the half. The Legends took a 14-12 lead to the locker room. Same score, third quarter now. Memphis facing a second and eight from midfield. Zach Mettenberger takes the snap, fakes two, then hits Terrence McGee out of the backfield. McGee builds up ahead of steam, then bumps into his old friend Tyson Graham Jr. at the legend 31-yard line. Mettenberger capped off the drive with a quarterback sneak touchdown. On the conversion, the Express go back to Terrence McGee on the pitch out. McGee goes back to his patented spin move and dives for the pylon. Add eight more for Memphis. The Express vault back into the lead, 20 to 14. On to the fourth quarter. Atlanta ready to showcase its own playmaker in the backfield. Murray kicks the ball out to Tari and Folston on third and one from the Express 31. Shontavious Jones and Avery Genesee help clear an alleyway for Folston, 26 yards, brought down by Terrell Bonds at the five. Three plays later from the two, Murray back to Folston for the touchdown. Conversion no good. Atlanta and Memphis locked at 20 early in the fourth. The teams traded possessions. Then Memphis sets up second and 12 from the 44. Mettenberger gets hit as he releases, but Zach Stacy gets his hands on the football and goes to work. Stacy crosses midfield. He breaks a tackle and crashes down to the Atlanta 25 yard line. The Express, now poised to take the lead, under four minutes to play, third and six from the 21. Zach Mettenberger gets flushed from the pocket, looking for Gerard Shepard, but the pass is tipped and intercepted by Tyson Graham. A critical turn of events. Atlanta takes over, second and nine from the 47. Aaron Murray locks in on his target, Keith Tobridge. 15 yards on the catch, Murray finished with over 300 yards passing. The Legends' rushing attack got Atlanta within field goal range, and with a few ticks left on the clock, Young Wei Koo, cool as a cucumber and money in the bank. The game winner, good from 35 yards. The Legends win their second in a row, Atlanta 23, Memphis 20. The big thing is our guys mentally stayed in the entire time, mentally strong, and we finished. We, we finished the game, it's two weeks in a row now. I thought that the, the fan support was great, especially on defense, how loud they got at times really I thought helped our defense align uh, be able to get after their quarterback. So kudos to those guys for showing up and supporting us. We are a good football team, I've got to be honest with you, and we're getting better every week. And there's a, a group of guys that are committed to each other, and, and I love coaching this group, i got to be honest with you, this is a, it's a, it's a rare group. But uh, we'll look our own. And, um, 
We'll respond by uh, coming back next week and having a good week practice and getting ready to swing again.